So, like so many people, I thought owning a historic home would be a dream, and it is. Um, but this home I bought as a complete fixer-upper, and one of the things you have to deal with in an old home, and this one's old, it was built in 1770, is rotting sills. And so up here uh, on the roof line, this was all sagging in, right, right in between the windows was sort of the, the point, and it was all sagging down, and you can't believe how straight that is compared to how it, it was just a day ago. And... You know, no gutters uh, on this, and unfortunately, uh, in my case, they had also put up this concrete foundation, butted it up to the house, um, because uh, when they put in a boiler in the turn of the century, they built this room here, and there's an oil tank in there. Um, but with the water having nowhere to go and splashing on that concrete, well, it rotted, and... <clears throat> so what we're looking at, for anybody that doesn't know, this is what we're talking about, the sill. That is the horizontal piece of wood that sits between the foundation and uh, the bottom plates of your framework. And so you can see mine's completely rotted out. Certainly not helped by water hitting the concrete. And as you can see, the concrete even has developed its own uh, wear. Now, the wood they used here, I'm pretty sure it's maple, um, cut on site, you know, uh, that's what they had here. And uh, it's actually held up remarkably well for 251 years. Um, so it's it's really interesting uh, kind of seeing what, what's going on here. Actually, many many parts of this uh, this area, I think, were upgraded because they upgraded the windows. Uh, you can see... This one's going to go, but look, it even has the original storm. Um, but really what they do, the technology, is they jack up the house. They It's post and beam when you think about the framework, and uh, it's simple physics. So um, it's sort of old world meets new world technology to get the job done. So this is one of the jacks, and you can see they cribbed it, and... It's lagged into the main center beam, um, and let's go inside and I'll show you what happened. Okay, so the lighting isn't going to be very good in here. Uh, so here's the other jack, and it is attached to the beam that is carrying the house here. As you can see, it goes over to the center beams. and But <clears throat> completely rotted the entire bottom of that uh the water damage um luckily to the foundation was very minimal um really we you know sort of catching it at the last possible worst point before that happens um, you can see how the sills just completely rotted we're actually replacing 16 feet of the sill um, but these jacks uh jack up Jack up the house and then let me take you in the basement and show you where it all sort of happens. Um, so you can see down here in the basement, here's the jack that's supporting the bottom of the whole situation. And I call these guys the house chiropractors because really that's you're just straightening out the house. But these guys are doing it really well. They use lasers and um, you know, they just methodically take it inch by inch and half inch by half inch and trying to get it done. Um, and this is, you know, a lot of the stuff you're going to run into when you buy these houses. Um, as you can see, my original floor joists are just logs. And some of them, like this one you can see, are just eaten by beetles and rotted and Surprisingly, not too terrible. There were a couple of bad ones, um, but they got uh, sistored up. And uh, then what we're doing is we have an enormous amount of 16 foot 2 by 10 PT over there. And they will actually be going in between every single one of these floor joists uh, with brand new ones.
Um, so these will stay because otherwise you'll just start ripping the house apart. Um, but that's what's going on. So anyway, uh, this job is about an eight-day job. Uh, it's, I bought the lumber. Um, and, uh, you know, it's about a $10,000 job. But these guys are really great. They're very professional, clean. They really know what they're doing. They have all the right equipment. And um, they take their time and, and do it right. So just something you have to think about when you buy an old home.